enjoy this content, if you like it, please think to tap the like button below, subscribe, and share this video with people that you would think would be interested. With that out the way, let's get to it. What are the benefits, if any, to creating an LLC underneath your C Corp or S Corp? And just to say that I find that most people when they're in business or they're trying to start a business, mm -hmm. a lot of people just kind of beeline towards LLC and they kind of abandon the idea of S Corp or C Corp. And just for those who are unfamiliar, right here above, I'm going to have a link to a, a previous video that Mr. Anderson and I did that go into depth about that. But he's going to share with you some benefits of having an S Corp or LLC. I mean, S Corp or C Corp. So, but anyway, what would you say are the benefits of potentially putting an LLC underneath one of those? Those, that's another layer of protection. Great question. Another layer of protection that you're adding. Uh, LLC stands for limited liability company or corporation, depending on if you make the election after you uh, form the LLC. But that's another layer of protection. Right now, a corporation has a layer of protection. By you putting a LLC, you're adding another layer of protection that allows persons not to get to you mm -hmm. and uh, not to be able to get to your assets. So you want to put that LLC sometimes in certain instances under the S Corp or under the C Corp to prevent yourself from having to pay taxes, but also giving you access to the monies that's in the LLC, I mean, in the C Corp or the S Corp. Mm -hmm. uh, C Corp play, pays at a flat 21% now. Uh, uh, when Trump was in office, he, uh, he he made it a permanent tax at 21%, unlike the other tax that came out in 2019 on the Job Tax uh, Act uh, that expires in 2025. Mm -hmm. uh, he made that a permanent tax. So right now, C Corp's at a permanent 21%. But you cannot take monies out of a C Corp without piercing the corporate veil. Now, cor piercing the corporate veil means that I take monies out of my C Corp, and then at that point, I'm using it personally. Mm -hmm. Well, if you do that, you have to pay dividends, and that's when they get into the double taxation portion. Yeah. Now, that LLC, if it's a beneficiary and they receive it now, when that money comes down to the LLC, now you're opening up other opportunities for your baby to use those funds. Yeah.